Hey there, welcome to a new video. In this video, we are giving a look at tension. So tension basically is uh, uh, an instrument that replicates string instruments. So let's just say like uh, guitars, violins, and all the string stuff. So we have an excitator, which is uh, the plaque or the finger, and we have the string, and then we also have the pickup, the body, the damper and the termination. So all the parts of an electric guitar, for example. So let's dive into it. If we press any key, we don't have any, any sound. So we have to turn on termination and then we can pick up all the other stuff. So we have the excitator, like the plectrum or the bow. So so we have a protrusion. The stiffness. The velocity. position, the damping, and we can also modulate all these parameters with velocity and the key to make the instrument feel more human. Then we have the string with the decay, the ratio, Then we have the inharmonics. Then we have the damping. And we have uh, the keyboard modulation on the DK and the damping. Then we have the vibrato. The amount, the rate, the delay, the error, you can play with these uh, parameters to have the vibrato you want. Then we have the termination, so. We have the finger mass, the finger stiffness, and the fret stiffness. Then we have the pickup position. We have the body, so. Let's see the different types of body. Guitar, violin and generic and the different measures, so extra small, extra large. Then let's go to the damper. So. We have the stiffness, the position, the damping, And we can also have it gated. And then we have the filter global. With the filter, the different types of filters and all this modulation. So with the envelope, the LFO, and the keyboard. Then we have this envelope that we can use to map it uh, here and here. And the same goes for the LFO. 
Then we have the other types of mapping on the keyboard. So. We have the global detune, the number of voices, the pitch band, the stretch, the error, and the priority. Then we have the unison, so. Then we have the portamento. And then we have the global volume. So this is it for this video. I highly recommend browsing for presets because you have a lot of real sounding stuff already done and you can learn how to tweak all these parameters to get the sound you want. So hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one.